Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video guys for any of you having a BMW guys. Now, very guys stressful situation. Let's say you're driving down the highway, you all of a sudden guys get a transmission light or a malfunction on the iDrive screen that says problem with the transmission. Your car RPM start dropping up and down, you're losing power guys and your car may even die and you have a hard time restarting it guys it takes forever and you don't have enough power stay with us guys we'll explain what two simple reasons can act like you have a bad transmission on bmw guys it could be any bmw why simply because as you know bmw the same engine that have been used in uh, that 3 series for instance you can find in bmw 1 series 3 series 5 series in europe 6 7 series here in the us x1 x3 x5 multiple bmws guys so now we have a problem here guys where okay our car okay transmission light is on it says okay take it to a shop car is not running correctly it takes forever to start and we'll explain guys the most common reason we see here at the shop when working on bmws and how to fix that let me explain to you guys but before we start okay let me introduce you to the channel quick every single car we get at the shop we make at least two to three hundred free repair videos specifically on bmws we make even more guys why we do all that simple our mission at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can all we need in return subscribe to the channel and like the video guys now we'll demonstrate on six cylinder engine but even if you have a four cylinder eight cylinder gasoline diesel okay all of them could be the same you will notice your engine light may be on guys transmission light will be on if you scan the system depending on the scanners you may get any of these codes what that means guys okay most likely you will have this code for sure 2e94 now if you're using a cheaper scanner that could be a generic code but it will be related to crankshaft position sensor guys and this is okay that sensor on the six cylinder engine is located under the intake manifold if you have a different engine four cylinders probably it's there as well v8 could differ a little bit but you need to locate your crankshaft position sensor and you know, in our case and most bmws okay will be located under your engine starter guys okay right here so that's where the crankshaft position sensor is located now number one guys goes for your car to act that way it's a wire that's not plugged all the way in or if you worked on your vehicle and you yanked it out guys okay check it out now okay and that wire okay is loose you hit a bump or something it's not going to communicate well as a result your crankshaft position sensor will not working uh, will not be working your transmission will not be getting data from the crankshaft position sensor and that could be catastrophic guys so as you can see that's the sensor there check the wiring harness make sure it's not broken somewhere make sure it's plugged all the way in if that's not the case guys it could be a bad crankshaft shaft position sensor it has the same results and the socket that we need in most cases on bmw it's reverse torques okay especially on uh, generation 2005 and up and we'll remove just one bolt but i forgot to mention always clean around the crankshaft position sensor because if you have dust and dirt when you remove that sensor it will enter that dust will enter in your engine and you don't want to have dust in your oil pan guys because you can severely damage your engine that sensor may be stuck really bad because there is one o-ring there that prevents oil from coming out and you may need to even use guys okay you may need to even use a screwdriver to pry it out this is the bolt came out now we're working on the sensor so if you guys have these problems it could be very possible that you have a bad sensor and in our case guys okay we showed you what needs to be done okay to fix that problem let, let me just focus on the sensor here quick i'm trying to focus but it's having a little bit of a hard time to focus okay perfect right there this is the crankshaft position sensor guys that's what it looks like okay and that's that device okay that can cause all that trouble because of that little bitty thing now uh, hopefully that will save your problem to you uh, will solve your problem guys we'll have a video that explains how to test, test crankshaft position sensors as well thank you guys for watching please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time